In this demonstration, we're going to see how to create a collapsible list. So this starts from a previous blog where we showed you how to create this type of tree representation. And um, again, this is done by us creating in JavaScript an array data provider, array tree data provider over here. We have a function to build it. And we have a, an action chain that gets the data from the rest uh, use it to build the tree and then assign it to a variable in our page and the variable is called the our tree variable okay so now we're going to see how to connect this variable and base a list on top of it so to do that i'm going to pick up a list component and drop it into the page uh, to make my life easier i'm going to start by just adding data um, let's say from the employee over here um, and this is just to help me with the layout of the page. Um, so again, get an image and let's say a name for the default slot. And we can also have, let's say the salary in one of the slots over here. So this creates the list structure over here. Of course, it's not tied to our tree, so we're just seeing employees. So now we're going to switch over to the code view and update our list to actually be based on our tree. So the first thing we want to do is the list view itself, the data for it, instead of coming from this SDP we just created, we're going to bind it to our tree. Okay. And then we have the list item layout. And over here, we're going to use two types of layout. So one type is going to be used for a um, situation where we're working with um, employees and the other one is with department. So let's say this is already the layout that we want for employees. So we're going to take this um, list layout and we're going to surround it with a bind if. Okay. And the condition over here, we want to show it only when we're looking at employees. So instead of having two here, we're going to show it only if we have this field called a uh, current dot data dot name which is the name of an employee okay so if this list in our tree has a name uh, in the field or as a value there then therefore this is an employee we're going to show it this way then we're going to use another oj bind if so like that um, and inside this one we're going to have a span that is going to show us the information about um, departments. So let's take, for example, a text component, put it in here. Okay, and we're going to bind the text component um, into one of our values. So instead of just having bind text we're going to use for example um, something like dollar current data and then the department name so we can have a um, department okay and again the condition here is if we do have a department name so again we can basically just come here or do it in the editor wherever you feel more comfortable All right, like that All right so now let's look at our live view All right so we have the departments and we can expand them see the employees in each department like that 